Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Grace. I'm Jovi. And it's Happy Sister Happy Life. Thank you guys for tuning back again. Oh my god, it's been so long since we posted a video and gosh, it took, so, took us a lot to actually film today and oh my god, I had several fights with my sister this morning <laughs> before we could actually be here filming. I wish we could show you the behind the scenes but till next time, maybe we could have a chance to show you behind the scenes what happens, what actually happens before we could be here <laughs> filming. Yo, it's a lot, bruh. <laughs> A lot happens before we get actual film. But then, you know, guys, we are just here quarantining. In South Africa, we are at level four of um, the lockdown and it's almost done. But I hope all of you guys are out there being safe, washing your hands, staying at home when you don't need to be outside. And those who are working, I hope you guys are wearing your mask and just following all the safety um, precautions. Let us all make it out of 2020 alive, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, this video is just to tell you guys that uh, we are back with filming and everything and we just wanted to come back and say sorry for just ghosting on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it was just that point, you know when you start, um, when you start something without proper, um, proper research of what you're getting yourself into, that was us. So we just want to give you guys a head up. If you'd like to start doing YouTube and stuff like that, you need to do your proper research. Don't be like us yeah. and just get into it heads over hell. So yeah, I guess that's why we stopped and we, we were just overwhelmed with everything. So these are the five things we, we wish we knew before starting up a YouTube channel. And we would be remiss if we didn't say it to you, if we didn't give you a heads up. Number one is make sure you have at least 50 videos that you have jotted down and so that you constantly have ideas to continue posting. This also helps you to be consistent. It helps you like to make sure that you are posting maybe if you want to post once every week or once every month. It sets a pace for you so it doesn't leave you thinking of um, if you post like a video and then you start thinking what next what am I gonna post next so just make sure that you already have enough ideas so that next time you want to post a video you can actually go back to what you wrote down and come up with a video without having to think a lot without having to put so much into it yeah guys um, so the second one is basically you need to look at the space and time that you are starting your channel um, you need to make sure that you at least have up to six months of where your head is clear um, you have planned your time you have planned everything that you are about to do so that you are able to be consistent with those few months because it is hard to start you guys have to agree with me, with me there it is hard to start but once you have started it's easy to follow on with the momentum and just be consistent with your channel so just make Make sure you're starting it in the right time we started it with the wrong time you know we were going into the holidays and during normally during the holidays we normally um have side hustles that we do and that did not enable us to continue um doing youtube if you know us personally you know that we normally know together during the holidays due to the hustles that we have to do so yeah we didn't start in the right time so number five number Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, three. <laughs> Number three on our list is um, make sure that even if you don't have a camera to film your uh, videos, at least have a good phone that you are able to film with. One of the things that actually hindered us from continuing to film is that we did not have at least a phone to be filming our videos and we usually um, had to ask our father or our dad for their phones because their phones are better at filming so many at times when they are busy with their phones or they are not at home and we have to film something we cannot because we have to rely on them in order to film our videos so just make sure that you have uh, equipment you have something a resource that you use to film your videos you don't necessarily have to have a camera but at least have something that is that can enable you to film your videos 
Yeah, guys. Um, so number four, I think I touched on this um, earlier in our intro. Um, we you need to be able to do some research in what you're going into. Like, just with everything that you want to start doing, you need to make sure that you have proper research. Um, I know that most things are normally trial and error. Like, you just want to get into it and see how it's going to work out for you. But try and do a little bit of research. Don't be like us. Do your research and just make sure that um, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into and what is requires for you to be successful in that specific um you know hustle i guess so yeah so make sure that you do your research last but not least um time management in order to be successful a successful youtuber you need to make sure that you set your priorities right you need to make sure that you know um when you're going to do this and that when you're going to film your video you need to be consistent consistent don't um start and then stop for a long time and then wake up again and then stop and you know it's really even your subscribers will begin to think oh my god what is happening why um is she being like this and they might even forget about you for some time True. but if you keep on filming you keep on posting they'll obviously know that you exist and they will keep on following you watching your videos and that's how you're gonna start earning a bit all right guys and also with time management just make sure that you normally like plan out your day and you plan out when you're going to film your videos and also when you're going to post because like um posting a video takes a lot you guys i heard i had to learn that the, the hard way like getting your yourself together um planning a video filming the video then editing the video then posting it you guys that shit ain't easy like it's a lot so um just make sure that you plan your time around that don't just think that posting a video is just filming it and that's it like you need to do all the other background work so that you put your, your your work out there so make sure that you plan your time and that everything is just going according to you know just be responsible and manage your time wisely all right you guys so um those are the few things that we really needed to talk to you about because um i've my a lot of my friends have been asking me like what happened when are you coming back on youtube when are you guys posting and yeah well we just decided to, to just start posting again yeah. and you guys keep us in your prayers help us to be more consistent and we just trying to we'll, we'll pull our side of the end you know Wow, how do you even say that? Like, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, make sure, we'll do our part, yeah. Yeah, she means we'll do our part. <laughs> Yo, get it together, girl. We're getting mixed up here. <laughs> okay, so um, we just want to tell you guys a few things that happened during those times. I think it's been seven months since we posted our first video. Mm-hmm. And you guys, ignore if you hear um, laughing in the background. That's my little sister's. Um, yeah. So what happened? Nothing much really happened. We just went through um, Christmas as normal as we normally do. As I told you guys, we are full-time students at GKZN and at GUT. And I guess we have been studying until the corona stuff. Oh my god, that shit is real. It actually wrecked our whole year. But we'll go more into that in the next video. Yeah, anyway, guys, uh, I turned 21 this year. <laughs> My girl Yo, became legal. I am 21. <laughs> she got the key. You guys. So, I finally turned 21, y'all. I've been waiting for this year. You guys, this is supposed it's to so be my long. year. But now, with Corona and everything, y'all. But you know what? It's um, not happening. I guess God... You know, God has a plan and a reason for everything and we know we trust in Him and yeah, I guess everything's going to be okay. So I'll just make sure to put in a few pictures. I actually had two photo shoots. I had one photo shoot on my actual birthday, which is the 14th of February. On Hello. Valentine's, on Valentine's Day. Day. Um, so I had a photo shoot with my sister. She took pictures of me and yeah, and then I think I posted those on Instagram and then I have... I had a photo shoot on my birthday party. The D-Day. The D-Day. And yeah, it was just... My birthday was a Friday and I had the party on a Saturday. So we took 
a proper photo shoot i invited a few of my friends thank you so much guys for showing up i'm gonna shout them out yeah. uh, my friend um nomti Nomtandazo Ndlovu, she came all the way from Pretoria. Thank yes. you so much, babe. I know you're going to watch this video, so <laughs> shout out to you. Thank you for coming through. Um, my other friend, Anele. Hey, girl, I see you. Thank you for coming through. And my other friend, Bongi Wentele, she actually has a channel and... I um, am going to link it down in the description below. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for coming through, y'all. And I also had a few of my um, sister's friends. Monica, Yesha. Y'all are the real Gs. Yeah. My big sisters. Thank you so much for coming through. And y'all, my family was just being supportive. Shout out to Auntie Perfect, Auntie Clemens for... No, bringing down the shmoney like you guys and spoiled me that day. Yeah, mommy and, and daddy. Mommy and daddy did the thing, and yeah, shout out to um Fana who took my pictures. I'll link down all this description in the all this information in, in the, the description, description below. Oh my Yo, god! I <laughs> yes. So I had a lot of fun on my birthday. My friends showed me a lot of love as well as my family and it was it was more than what I expected. We didn't do much, hey, we just went for photo shoots, we came back home and just had a chill time. Thank you so much guys for watching and yeah, we back and we're gonna be posting like as usual, you know, we post on Mondays. So we're gonna continue posting on Mondays and please continue to show us some love subscribe like our videos and do share our videos so that we can get more views and more subscribers yes guys thank you so much for coming back for another video thank you so much for you guys who have been asking me to post and asking my sister to post y'all we really love the love the other thing is that we really didn't know that we going to like have so much support on our channel so that also like is so overwhelming and we're so grateful thank you so much guys for watching and have a happy life too we love Bye. you guys till next time Mwah.